when do most couples have sex? That's one of the most common questions that I get asked, and yet it's also one of the hardest to answer. I'm Beth Darling, your sexy genius. I'm a former board certified divorce lawyer who flipped, and now I'm a love, sex, and relationship coach here with you for Sarah's Secret to help explain and answer all of your questions, concerns, issues, and to start the conversation about the things that mean most to us, which is our relationships, love, sex, and romance. All right, let's tackle this. How often do most couples have sex? Well, it's really hard to get a figure on that, but let me tell you that there is one study from 2019 that found that 47% of couples have sex less than once a week. 47% of couples had sex less than one time a week. From there, let me just tell you that if you have sex fewer than 10 times a year, i.e. less than once a month, that's basically what is called a sexless marriage, sexless marriage, about 25% of couples are considered sexless. Um, then over that, you know, of that 47%, you can find all sorts of variations in terms of how often. Generally, the thought is, is that if you are having sexy at least once a week, that tends to be the point where couples will sort of stay together or where they're feeling so disconnected because here's the thing, it's not about how many orgasms you're having, right? It's not actually the sex, quote sex, that is important. What is important is how intimately connected the couples feel. But when the sexy intimacy goes, then too often what people feel like is that it's like a roommate situation. They'll say things like, I love them, but I'm not in love with them anymore. And as one rabbi said, lust is stronger than love because we might love that person and yet we fall in love with somebody else and we do things that we know aren't, they're not aligned with our ethics, they're not aligned with our values, um, and yet we do them. We're willing to hurt someone we love because we are in lust, i.e. in love with somebody else. So I think that the important number to think about is at least one time a week. And now again, from my perspective, I suggest that you think of it as sexy fun. If you're simply having BMS, boring married sex, and you're doing that regularly once a week, you're doing something, but it would be a lot better and a lot more satisfying for both of you if you think of it as sexy fun. That's the goal. You want both of you to enjoy it, to look forward to it, to feel intimately connected through it so that you're merging the sexy intimacy and emotional intimacy I'm Beth Darling. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks to Sarah's Secret. And please talk to them. Go into their shop. They will help you with anything and everything you need to make your sexy fun as exciting and interesting and for like anything that you want. So big hugs and love and I'll see you next month.